boys and girls and uh, viewers and ladies and gentlemen and all people of that sort. Um, this is Thad Snazzy iPhone Guy here with you today and this is the full in review of the Griffin Clarify for iPhone 3G. Um, it's a pretty decent case, we'll get to it here soon. But uh, a few things to note first, uh, this is the uh, Contour Flick right here. And uh, this case can be yours. Uh, just enter your name in the giveaway and uh, do not enter twice or you'll be disqualified. And uh, you have to be a subscriber, and I don't want to file through to see if you're a subscriber. So, uh, just make it easy on me. Just push that yellow button. You'll be helping me out, and you'll be helping yourself out. Otherwise, you won't make it into the contest. So, um, I finally was able to pull this switch easy off uh, for a few days to give this Griffin a try. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm ready to stick this baby back on. Um, that case it is awesome uh, one other thing to know I ordered switch easy colors the yellow orange kind and uh, it's coming in the mail so that should be exciting one more thing um, tame mo our winner of our last giveaway if you're listening to this I'm so sorry um, I was just able to send your prize out today and I'm sorry it took me a week and a half to do it I've just been crazy hectic and I haven't gotten time to uh, go to the post office but uh You'll forgive me on that one. Um, before we get started here, a few things about this Griffin Clarify. I mean, this case is slick. There's no flash in here. There's no, when I got it for the first time, it was perfect. All the corners were perfectly cut out. Um, and as much as I like the iFrog, there are some imperfections in that case. I mean, hold on, let me pull it out first. There are some, I mean, it's not perfectly shaved and the camera hole's a little weird. And uh, as much as I love that case, uh, Griffin just did a better job at executing the manufacturing process too. So congrats to them. Um, other than that, I mean, there's a pretty decent case. It's really solid, hard plastic. I'm, that's as far as I can bend it, which is a lot, but I'm squeezing really hard. And... Uh, this is the one, as many of you know, with a macro lens on it. You slide the lens over your camera lens, and uh, it gives you the ability to take macro shots, things up close, and text. Um, it works pretty decent, not the best, but it's better than, it's the best solution out there, I believe, in, unless you modify your camera, which is then stupid because it renders normal usage worthless. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, this is a monster screen clean. Um, there's the eye clear, I know, but Monster, I gave you a bigger bottle, and uh, they had just as high reviews for a uh, gadget cleaning up, so uh, that's what I went with, and uh, I hope I didn't make a bad decision. I'm liking it so far. I mean, seriously, one wipe down on the side, and all that crap is gone. Making my tablecloth come up. Okay, and then, uh, let's get some... Make sure this is all wiped down. Alright. Okay. So, uh, sliding the case in, or sliding the phone into the case is extremely easy. I mean, it slides in one finger. Uh, it's tight, but it's not, it doesn't take much effort to get it in. Now, uh, getting it out is a different story. This case is weird. I mean, sometimes it's really easy to pop off. Uh, top comes off just like the uh, eye frogs. Um, sometimes, usually it doesn't, but we must have made a touchdown. I'm watching the, I had to pull away from the Utah uh, Alabama game, the Sugar Bowl, BCS Bowl, baby, uh, to come make a video for you guys because I haven't done one today and I figured I probably should do one. So uh, we were kicking butt at the first half, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting sidetracked. Um, but sometimes this case is near impossible to get off. I don't know what it is, but I was seriously like trying as hard as I could sometimes to get this case off. If you take it on and off probably once a day, it's not too bad. But leaving it on a couple days, I don't know what it is. If it got cold and clatched to the click case, but I don't know. It was impossible to get off. It was really bad. Um, in terms of drop protection, I am not scared at all of dropping this case. I mean, that's a rock hard surface. We can even move to the carpet here. 
Okay, this is probably three feet. Can't even see the top of my phone to there. Uh, no problem. I mean, I'm to I feel totally fine about doing that with this case. Uh, it's super sturdy, super durable, and uh, it's really awesome. So, uh, in terms of that, it's good. A few things I don't like. Actually, there's a lot of things. The bottom is completely exposed. I can understand the bottom. Not a huge fan, but uh, this side. Uh, it's pretty decent. The iFrogs came all the way down to there. This is pretty good at protecting this. They couldn't have really done the volume buttons unless they did a thing kind of like the flick with the home button. But uh, other than that, I'm fine. What bothers me is the SIM tray. Why did they leave that open? They could have easily drilled. I mean, because this does not add much bulk at all. Um, no more so than the iFrogs. And a heck of a lot less than the Switch Easy Capsule Rebel. So, I mean, this is, in terms of, it does add some bulk, but not barely any at all. And it feels great in your hand. It feels the same. Uh, a few more negatives. This this lens, I don't know why it does it, but it slides over about halfway. So when you go to take a picture, normally not macro, there's a big gray line through the bottom of your screen. It can kind of be bothersome. Uh, so that's a little too easy to move. I wish it was stiffer. Um, okay, now... I wish I could show you because I don't know if I can, but that lens, there, oh, you can see it right there against the black, there is crap in there. After four days of use, there is dirt galore in that screen and dust in that lens. I don't know why, but it just, all the dust, it seems, when a camera is exposed, it just goes, so when I was using this case, there was tons of dust right around the camera area and on the lens and tons of dust right here. So, uh. Not a gigantic fan, but uh, that's it. Um, other than that, though, this is a decent case, guys. I like the design. It's not an attention grabber, which I like, but, you know, it's decent. And uh, so that's uh, that's that. Um, and I mean, that's, that's about it. I mean, if you're going to go drop $35 on a case, uh, you don't want it to be an attention grabber. You want it to be the same color as your phone, mostly. <laughs> That's a little bit of a difference, but if you want it to be blended in, you don't want it to be, whoa, what phone is that guy using? You just want to blend into the crowd. And that macro shot, that really is a selling point because it does work pretty well. So uh, it's the Griffin Clarify. I forgot to mention one more thing that bothers me. When the phone is in there, it squeaks like a maniac. When you squeeze the side of the phone, it, it squeaks really bad, and I hate that. So uh, other than that, though, it's a decent case. This back scratch is really easy. Fingerprints get on it just as easily as the face of the iPhone or the back. But uh, other than that, guys, it's pretty decent. The uh, Griffin Clarify, uh, I check it out, $35. Um, I wouldn't do it before you get the Switch Easy Capsule Rebel down there on the floor. My absolute favorite case. But, uh, you know, it, it does the job. It's a... Oh. It does the job. It's a decent case. So thank you guys for watching. This is that snazzy iPhone guy. The Griffin Clarify. Thanks. See ya.